Shocking stats coming into this game. Indiana has not had back-to-back -back wins in over a month. George, great position for the flush. Good rebound the basketball, block shots, and be that physical presence for the Pacers in the middle. He is a shell of himself right now. Antich the foul. George cans it. And the paint is just not wide open without the guy that has a stretch five that can shoot the three. An all-star this season signed a two-year, $19 million deal, which has turned into one of the biggest bargains in the NBA. Hill behind the back. George, that's a clean look. Bottom, a three. 18 points. And the best part for Mike Budenholzer, he's been able to stick with reserves like Sheldon Mack. Jeff Teague has gotten a long rest. George hits on the triple. But they've been kicked, they've been stomped, <laughs> and they're still on the mat. They got to find a way to get up. 61 to 38. They've got 41 points in the second quarter. Corver is in. George to the hoop for the jam. And a steal. And a sarcastic applause from some of the fans here. George to the hoop. Wow, that would have been continuation. They are down 30 to the Atlanta Hawks. This is a number one seed Pacers team down 30. And again, the M.O. for Indiana throughout most of this season, building off the appearance in the conference finals last year against Miami, that this was a very close-knit group. A lot of people pointed to the Danny Granger move as one that made... You know, trying to mix up the defense, a little bit of a trap pressure by the Pacers, but the Hawks handled it well, got the basketball out and fouled Lou Williams for a nice drive. During the regular season, Indiana number two in the NBA in scoring defense, 92.3 points per game. They've allowed 82. The Hawks are in the postseason for the seventh consecutive year under three different head coaches. Mike Woodson, Larry Drew, and Mike Budenholzer in his first year as the head man. NBA TV's playoff coverage tomorrow begins at 7 p.m. with game time. Join Matt Weiner, Rick Fox, Dennis Scott for the first word on everything playoffs only on NBA TV. 16 points, toss it up. Stevenson gets it back. Whips it inside. The uncontested 360 from George. You said I on that on that graphic. Only two points at halftime, but they are spreading the court playing just like Atlanta Hawks basketball. And there is Paul George with the drive. This is a 10-point game right now. Off the high pick and roll versus a straight post up. 101-89, 18 for Millsap. Under two minutes to play now. George a three. Bottom. Paul George connects from long range. I mean, so Took the best shot by the Pacers in that fourth quarter. Still some time left, but they must score right now if you're the Pacers. Too much time. Have to be quicker than this. Hill back in on Mack. George steps in for a three, and he drills it. 105-97.